Hey! Welcome to Game Tech HQ. We're playing a game called Where Cards Fall today. The code was provided by the developers. Although we did have some technical issues, we're playing it now. So I guess we get up. We've got a card here. I wonder if we can go up to it and go into it. There we go. This must be our house. Sitting at the table. I like the cursor design and I like the graphics generally as well. Looking at our phone. Sitting on our chair. Looks very monotonous. I don't know what the point of that little segment was because we seem to have come in, sat about and left again. So I don't know what the point of including that in the game was, but I suppose there will be a reason for it. I want to hope there'll be a reason for it. There's a house here. Which we can transform into a deck of cards. Now I've got this deck of cards, I don't know what to do with it. And then we can pull up the corner apparently. How do I bring the deck of the cards to where we need it? Because it kind of needs to come through here. We can bring it to these two places. And then can we stand on it? Can we move it up here? There doesn't seem to be anywhere to move it except these two places. So let's go away as our character. There's a bike here. And there's this path we're obviously meant to follow. Let's jump across there. Across we go. And across here. I'm finding the controls a bit fiddly. Which isn't really what you'd hope for in a game that's reliant on controls. But then all games are reliant on controls. Click the cards to pick them up. Click and drag to spread them out. And release to build. Click them. Click and drag to spread them out. And release to build. Okay, so I've built something. That's what we need. Something we can walk across. There we go. Let's carry on up here. Across we go. Time to jump. Click the side of a house of cards to collapse it. So now we can get to this ladder. Up we head. And now I can rebuild it. Maybe I need to um use it as a way to get from here to here. No, go away you. Let's collapse that. No, stay up there. And then maybe I can spread them out. Yeah. So I can go up here now. I'm not a fan of the music because there isn't much. It's mostly just sound effects. Maybe we can make friends with that person. Let's go see. I 
I suppose we'll carry on because they don't seem to want to have anything to do with us. I can build that up. I don't know if we're meant to go across there, but I have, so. That's that. No, don't tread on there. I'm finding the controls tough. So build that there. And then I can build that up. Now maybe I can step across. I can't get across to there apparently. Hole's too big. Let, let me go back to there, our little character. And then we click and drag. Yeah, it's refusing to go any bigger. I can put it higher up here. That's how we do it. There we go. It just doesn't feel very intuitive to me. I don't know what kind of genre they were going for, but it's not really doing it for me. It's not giving me much of a story. It, it's, it's a good foundation, but it feels like it needs more. Which they could possibly work on via the form of updates. For me, it's just a game that needs something more to it. If you know what I mean. Let me try and make this a bit bigger. Let's move that up one. It just feels like there's a lot more they could do and a lot more they could experiment with. Because it feels... It feels like an experimental title that's failed on the experiment part. Which isn't really the look you want to go for. Now we are stuck. Let's try and come. No, 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 no. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. And the controls are irritating as well. Maybe it's easier if you can play with a gamepad rather than mouse and keyboard. I don't know. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. Except mainly just mouse because the keyboard doesn't do much. And collapse that one. Let's bring that up too. And then. That should work, right? Jump across here. Come across to here. Then we've got a door and a door. So I guess I can go in there and it will move me to the other one. What am I meant to do in here? It's like the bit of the game where there should be a story, except there isn't. It's just some people sitting at a table. I don't understand why these bits are here. I like the graphics and everything, but the gameplay is just a bit meh. Alright, well let's leave this place again then, I guess. I like the sound effect of the clicking feet. That's a nice one. Oh, now we've just appeared somewhere else out of nowhere let's collapse that I guess the question for this one where are we going are we going up to there that makes some sort of sense so that could go that big so let's jump across to that I suppose and then that can go there No, I don't want to make it that big because we need space to move the other one. So let's jump across to here. So I'm having to make use of both this time. Collapse that. And then jump across to there, I guess. Over we go. 
and then jump to here and over here. There's, there's something that this reminds me of and it's on the tip of my tongue but I can't think what the game is that it's reminding me of. Okay. Now we're in another one of these not very entertaining cutscenes. Okay. That was fun. Out we, out we go. The character doesn't look like he's very fond of these cutscenes either. Where are we meant to be going? Oh, it, it's time for another cutscene. Great. Can you tell I'm not a fan of cutscenes in games? I much prefer games where I just get to play the game. Why are there some weird eyes on the wall? Why are they watching us? Great. Let's leave. Get out of this creepy house with the creepy eyes. I can hear water. We're back in the original forest. This needs to fall over. I need to go back and get it. I nearly forgot it. Oh, it's another one of these where we can't get it anywhere. Just to tease us. Now where am I going? Is there any sort of option to spin the camera? Not really. Um, let's go back slightly. Do I have to jump across to here? To here? Oh, that one can collapse. I've got no way of getting up there, though. Oh, apparently I have. Okay. Up here, maybe? Let me collapse that now. That's no longer required. There's one here. So I can get on here. No, that wasn't what I was meant to do. I don't know what I'm meant to do now. I don't know what I was meant to do. I was meant to stack both on top of each other and I didn't. It's fine. It's fine. We can we can redo that. So we can get all the way to up there. Am I right? Yeah, we're going up there. And then what I can do is I can stack the two houses on top of each other. And then we should be able to use them to step across. Yes. But now my next mission is I need to get over here. And then we're going to have another weird cutscene, I assume. Yeah, we've got another... Stuck with another cutscene. Where n absolutely nothing happens. Two people sit there, look at something, and that's the end of the cutscene. I do not like cutscenes. Well then, out of here we go, I guess. 
we're leaving, we've had enough. How do you save this game? Escape doesn't do anything. Return doesn't do anything. Oh, maybe I have to click this thing in the corner. Oh, it's got weird icons. That shows you some cards. See, I'm not a fan of this either. I just want to save my game. Hint, cards, that. Is it auto save? Is this what we're getting at here? Is it auto save? Because that's going to be restart. Yeah. Then we've got a hint button. Question mark. Click the cards to pin. I'm going to have to presume it's auto save then. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.